submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and, and I'll, well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, all right. D -d Bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary folks on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. <sighs> Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Merryweather are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them. No oh, great. I look forward to that. Okay, well that's more like it. I'm here. Oh, it's around the corner, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut, just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. You can park it there. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here.
It looks like we're ready to go with everything. Well, I don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. All the best things they never last, yeah. Now I'm in between. Who I was and who I'm about to be. Yeah, you finally get the best of me. Yeah, you're never gonna want to leave, you know. Maybe I'm almost there. Fine, but I don't care. You and I, we won't die. We survive. Change my mind. Oh my god, man. You're awesome. Wait, Floyd! Hey! You guys, I'm expecting company, alright? I want this place clean. Wade, you tidy. Floyd! Massage. Uh, no, no, I really oh, don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? No, no, huh? no, no. Does anyone want that? No, no, you're right, you're right. You're... Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, hey, bro, you're late. Nine years fucking late. You know, you're so late, in fact, that you have no right to call me, bro. Is that clear? Uh, shut the fuck up. You're like a broken fucking record. Oh, yeah? Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Where's the assistant? On his way. Uh, the kid idolized his you. He gives me the creeps. Yo! Uh, Yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. Would you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. So what's the plan? Easy. We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor, all right? Now, Daddy's little helper, you're gonna be on the bridge, all right? You're the lookout. Now, you, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me, I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. You, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck's sake. Where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Man, fuck you. Ah, better. I like that. Fuck you. Good. Good. All right, now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master. Let's go, Junior. Hey, Wade, get Michael a wetsuit, all right? Take him to the boat. Oh. Hurry it up. We need some transport, don't we? I'm coming, man. I'm dropping you on the port city side of the Miriam Turner overpass, all right? What the fuck? Almost forgot. Here's the rifle with a the thermal scope. Almost forgot? I was kind of sold on, like, a well-organized job, planned out, with Lester's weird alpha detail. 
I got an eye for details, kid. Little details like your brick of glow being drywall. Okay, man. I'm grateful for that, dog. But buying cocaine is a whole different thing from sinking a container ship into a harbor. Man, not really, kid. It's all about what's inside. Cool. So, what's the thing, man? I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. You heard of Meriwether? Uh, yeah, maybe. Meriwether Security Consulting, the company our government uses to fight its wars and protect its shady interests all over the planet. They're the army? They're like the army, only they're private, so they cost more. Anyway, they've just been cleared to take government contracts on U.S. soil, and what's one of the first on the list? This container at the port? Exactamundo! So it's gotta be valuable, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter, because your job is not to understand. It's to shoot at people who try to stop us. Dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you're ready. All right, F, I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Hold on, there's a couple guards. These cats are shady, right? From what I read about them, yeah. They ain't no peace workers. It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. T pick four spots for the bombs. Keep an eye on me, okay? They caught this ship in numbers, man. First bomb is planted and armed. I'm moving up to the next position. or I can do it right, okay? Looks clear. Rig the bomb. Second charge set. Two to go. Hey, you got a clear path. Plant the bomb. Hey, if this is Trevor's thing, why ain't he doing any of the wet work? Because he's screwing around in a submarine. I don't know how we got roped into this shit. Third charge is set. I gotta go inside. 
the last one. Hey, come over to my side of the ship. I'll clear the entrance for you. Here's the door. Going in. Get back to where I can see you as soon as you can. I'm not gonna screw around in here, all right? Just tell me when you planted it. Ah, oh, shit. The alarm's gone, man. You okay? Are you okay, man? You gotta go. Bunch of guys in Port City, they caught me on the bridge, man. I'll take out as many as I can from around the side of this ship.
Man, you can say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that Lester? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. Woo! You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA. You can fuck with them all day long, but... When you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is gonna be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps! H hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck, Lester Crest! Holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah, I pulled a score. What, are you jealous because you didn't get your 20%? If that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking watch! So they don't watch, they kill. Idiot, we'll all be dead within a week. Think! All right, listen. Take the truck, take a guy, do what you gotta do. Trevor? I'll load it up. Uh, can take it all back. Right fucking now! So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck! Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. I am owed! What you gonna do, huh? I think of something. I gotta get Franklin some work, too. Hey, I'll take this. Yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Oh, tell me about it. Fuck! Brother O'Neill! Fuck you, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're the guy stealing contracts! You burnt the farm! Killed my brothers! You had too many brothers! They needed culling! You're fucking dead! Aren't we all? We live and we die! That's our curse! Hey, you wanna expedite the situation? Come fucking find me! Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck! I'll be there, man! I don't know when, but I'll be there! What a fucking loon. Classic. All right, the fuck is this bullshit? We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tortured people, committed a litany of other crimes. Oh, we're so straight, you and me. We're arrows. Davey, you can't do anything about this fucking turd? Yeah, Dave. What can you do about me? Here's Trevor. Get your raid, looky looky, huh? Bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? 
Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're golden. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. All right, guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back through the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. All right, man. I got you, dog. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Bite me.
just want all my babies to go to a good home. can come off the shopping list. We have a getaway vehicle ready and waiting. Good work, T. Where'd you put it? Alboro Heights. end up in the back oh, of this. Shit, man.
sanitation trucks there now, so don't you bother. Choice, friend. Kudos. Take care, friend. I understand. It won't be too cold this weekend. Listen, I've had a ton of work done, and I'm always looking for more. I'm not looking at you. Please don't look hey. at me. Just to say, I got us some headgear for this masquerade balls up. Can't stand the traffic in this town. I concur. The tow truck's at the lot, dog. Ready to go. All right, that's everything. I'll call Steve, tell him we're ready to move on this. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. 
I mean, yeah, the dude I sourced worked the child slaves, then stole and sold everybody's private information, and even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fool's heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fool's heads, it's asshole's heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got a shooter! Take cover! Shot fired! Shot fired! Where is that son of a bitch? Keep your eyes open! He's here! He's down! Get It's done. I know. Good work. 
All right, well, shit, let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Hey, Mike. Hey, I spoke to Steve. We're ready to move. I gotta take the loot to this guy me and Trevor met, Devin Weston. Big time investor or something. Oh, all right, see you. Well, I'll see you at the lot. What, you think it'll burn down? Let's get this straight. This dump is one big ashtray. CEO of Bilkington Research, the company that manufactures controversial new heart-stopping erectile dysfunction drug Priapol, has been found murdered in Los Santos. With Beta Pharmaceutical share price already spiking on the news, there won't be many Mollus investors weeping tonight. The 700 attorney strong Redwood Cigarettes legal team is preparing to take on its 83rd class action lawsuit of the year. And it's such a foregone conclusion that most people appear to have simply stopped caring. Who cares? I only smoke electronic cigarettes now so I can look like a real dick. The tip glows blue. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. What? Cracking, what's he at? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. All right. Hey, hey. So, let's sit up. Here's the plan. All right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, <sighs> on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, true to professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. Bah! <laughs> 
<laughs> let's do this. Let's go, let's go. All right, T. I'm in position. What's the ETA? Where are they? I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. All right, Mike, move it! Get the truck in position. Across both lanes, remember. Hold up, get ready, Frank. Did Public Works change their schedule? Hey, man, I got these motherfuckers! Side. 
sights on me! Snipers are gone! We're clear! They're coming from the left! Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. What up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all, right, uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Damn 
car broke down. Can you give me a ride? I'll pay you. I got money. Sure, I can take you. I'm unbelievably late for a flight. I need to get to the airport fast. Piece of crap rental car of all the days. The average American spends 15% of their income on running a car and almost two hours a day in transit. You'd expect these auto manufacturers could deliver a reliable product. Sorry, I'm a numbers guy, but outward facing. I can work a spreadsheet, but I can also work a room. I run the models, I date the models, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll have to take your word for it. So what flight are you trying to catch? Liberty City. I'm an equity analyst in Algonquin. Tech comps. The big leagues, man. The pressure, it can choke you. But I live for that shit. Name's Tim, with two M's. Because, mmm, mmm, I am hungry 24-7. What's your name, buddy? Michael, with one L, because that's how it's spelled. Well, listen, buddy, because you're oh. helping me out, I want to help you out. My back, your back, they both get scratched. Get me to the airport on time, and I'll give you the kind of tip you can really take to the bank. I am hung over. The vendors took us out last night. <laughs> I had so many tits in my face at one point, I thought it was going to suffocate. We dropped 5 k on bottle service, so go figure. I know what you're thinking, with everyone belting. Yeah. Holy crap! Yeah. What was that? We dropped 5 k on bottle service, so go figure. I know what you're thinking, with everyone belt tightening is not cool. But you got to stop mixing up investment and retail. We didn't cause this housing bubble or the last one. <laughs> I don't even speak to those retail drones. You know, you're a really interesting guy. Good to talk to you. I didn't realize I was talking. And this new bubble crisis bubble? It's just hysteria anyway. There's a boatload of money to be made in the downturn if you know what you're doing. And idiots lose paper, whatever the weather. When the storm comes, I make it rain, baby. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just make this fly. Look out! Oh no! I only got one hour before they close the gate! I can still make it. Buddy, I owe you big time. Okay, here's my tip. Buy shares in Tinkle now. You won't regret it. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. Hey, we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turn things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. 
I, mean, I, I want it to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to explain. The FIB is making me... Let's just say one man's patriotism is another man's atrocity. My old pal Trevor, he's got me stealing nukes or some shit off government contractors. My wife's left me, my kids too. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts. You're not telling me how you feel. I worry about your emotional health, Michael. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? <sighs> sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? Well, you know, I've, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. If I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Get you up. Okay, let's get you to the hospital. No, no hospitals. Let's go. Can you take me to Sandy Shores? I got people there who can help me out. Cholo Springs Avenue. Look, thanks for this. Another 20 seconds, I'd have had the cops all over me. What the hell happened back there? Don't worry about it, okay? It's not worth it. Hey, I'm helping a bleeding girl who won't go to the cops or a hospital flee the scene of a dead body. I'd say I deserve some information. Just a job that went wrong. Trust me, don't want to know. Trust me, I do. Call it competitive intelligence. What kind of job are we talking, bank? Jewelry? So you're in the game? I didn't say that. <sighs> Look, we hit a pawn shop, okay? But it was a sting. Cops were waiting for us. It was supposed to be an easy job, low risk, 20k each. I was the driver. But not a very good one. Hey, I got us through three roadblocks. We had half a San Andreas law enforcement on our ass. We'd have been home free if that son of a bitch hadn't pulled a blade on me at 100 miles per hour. Spun us off the road. You cross me, I put you down. No second chances. Sounds like you need to find a better crew. Considering I got two in custody and the other one dead on the side of Sonora Freeway, I need any crew, period. Why? You know someone? Again, I didn't say that. They got nothing to connect me. No real names, no addresses. Left all the money. Way too hot to wash. I'll get myself patched up, lie low at the safe house for a day or two, then see what I can put together. That bastard stuck me good. 
Just hold on. You'll be okay. This is it. Listen, I ain't sure what you're into, but you need a driver anytime? You let me know. Thank you. 